Apex Legends is a game overflowing with so many quality of life features and improvements that its very release has, for me, has been a soft reboot of the genre and has established a new higher standard for future games to come. Within its genre, Apex Legends is a masterpiece in a game that other studios and publishers looking to cash in on the craze will look towards for years. That is what the user Jewel Shockers says about the game back in February 11, 2019. Do you know what I say? It's absolute dog shit! I might be overreacting a little bit there, but I haven't picked this game up in so fucking long. I reckon I would've, when did this game come out? 4th of February, 2019. I probably last played this in August, last year maybe. And the first thing that came to my mind was the first reason why I stopped playing this game. It's just another wash, rinse, repeat battle royale game. There are so many battle royale games on the fucking market at this stage. It is ridiculous. Let me just list off some of them for you. There's Cuisine Royale, Warzone, Hyperscape, Apex Legends, PUBG, Fortnite, Firestorm. Even Dying Light has one now called Bad Blood, Ring of Elysium, Realm Royale, I wouldn't say totally accurate, but totally accurate Battlegrounds, Darwin Project, and last but certainly not the least, Z1 Battle Royale, which people would actually know as King of the Kill. But this genre never actually came to light until, obviously, PUBG blew the fuck up like it did, and Fortnite. But let's get one thing straight here before I go on to the next little tangent. These two companies have two things in common with each other. On the release of their games, they weren't very well known in the gaming industry, and they were very low funded. And you may be thinking, why is this dickhead bringing up these two games for, when he's clearly meant to be talking about Apex? Just hear me out. You'll, you'll understand why in a minute. The release of PUBG was on the 30th of July 2016. That is four fucking years ago. And how many fucking AAA title companies have jumped on that bandwagon of joining the Battle Royale genre? If you can't even think of one, there is something fucking seriously wrong with you. Activision jumped on it. Look what's going on with fucking Blackout and Warzone. They jumped on that bandwagon like fuck, because they knew they could gain capital off of it. Same as fucking EA with Apex, and even Valve jumped on it with CSGO's Danger Zone. And we all know how well that fucking went. So EA have jumped on the bandwagon, taken that wash, rinse, repeat method of just the basics of the battlegrounds, and added minute things. Actually, I'll take that back. There was one really good thing that which they added back then, which no other fucking game had, and that was the pinging system. Contact with target. Enemy over there. That is probably the best mechanic they've added to a battle royale ever. The only game to do it. So let's actually break down what a battle royale game is. It is a spawn in, loot, die simulator. No matter how good or how bad you are, these three things will always happen. Always. They may not happen at the same time, but they always happen. So every company that decides to make a battle royale has these three basics in mind. And then whatever happens after that, happens. Here's my gripe with Apex. They've gone against the fundamentals of a battle royale survival. That's like back in the day when everyone thought if you dropped at the school, the car 98 would spawn as well as the 8x scope. They were random. The loot table was random. It wasn't like, oh hey, we drop at the school, you have a 98% chance of the car 98 and the 8x scope spawning. It's not like Apex. Apex is like that. I just want to talk about this Wall Lee wannabe motherfucker. Look at his passive trait. Insider knowledge. Scan a survey beacon to reduce the cooldown of zipline gun. That's his ultimate. His ultimate creates a zipline for everyone to use. How fucking shit is that? He makes a fucking zipline. All he does is shoot a hook with some rope on it. That's his ultimate. Yay guys, ready? Look out. Woo! Oh, there's some fucking rope there. We better climb that bastard. So after just finding out what his fucking little trait is, I went through every single character on this list, and Lifeline has it, Wraith has it, and Watson has it. What do those three characters have in common? They're fucking women. So is Pathfinder a woman? Is he a wall -E woman motherfucker, or what is this? The only other women that don't have that trait are Horizon, where she doesn't even have anything, 
Rampart, which doesn't have anything. And Lobber. Lobber doesn't have anything. And then you got Bangalore, which has nothing either. And to be honest, look at her. Does she really need anything else? So this game is sexist. Every other fucking male character has a trait. Bloodhound has a trait. Fucking whatever his name is, Gab Gibralator, Gib Gibraltar has a fucking nice name, dickhead. Gibraltar, whatever your fucking name is, has a trait. Fucking Bangalore, I've already covered her. Co uh, Caustic, he has a fucking trait. Mirage doesn't have a trait because he's just a fucking decoy. No one gives a fuck about him. Octane, he doesn't have one because he's a heroin addict. Look at this, look at this fucking shit. While not taking damage, Octane restores health over time. Do you know why? Because he's not on fucking heroin. And as soon as he does take the fucking jab, increase walk speed by 30% and sprint speed by 40 for 6 seconds. Costs health to use, reduction to slows while active. I don't know what the fuck that means. Reduction to slows while active. What does that mean? And then his little fucking uh, ultimate is a jump pad. Fucking, I'm pretty sure once he takes his little fucking hot fix, he won't be jumping on no trampoline anytime fucking soon. When this game first come out, I loved it. Just due to the fact that everyone was on the same page. No one knew where high loot spawns were. No one knew the map. No one knew fucking nothing. All they had was the fundamentals of a fucking normal FPS shooter. Point, click, shoot. Point, click, shoot. Point, click, shoot. That is it. Everyone was on the same playing field. And as per usual, all the fucking diehard, tryhard virgin fucks jump on Google, try and find where all the high loot spawns, where the most populated places are, where can I find this, where can I find that. They just no life virgin the fuck out of it. Then they jump on YouTube, look up tips and tricks videos of like, oh, if you reload at fucking 0.7 of the fucking frame at this situation here, your reload speed gets cut by fucking 0.3 of a fucking millisecond. The rate that items spawn is never random. The loot table is never random. So every person who just no lifes the fuck out of this game or just researches the game because they have nothing else to fucking do know exactly the loot table at which popular places as well as where the popular weapons spawn. If you remember back in H1Z1 days as well as PUBG as well as fucking Fortnite, they all have random loot tables, they all have random spawns and they never have the percentage of, hey, this rare item will always spawn here. I feel like I just need to make a video on why Battle Royale game just made for the most simplistic people on fucking earth. But like, dead set, I'm not even joking. Like, I feel like these types of games are made for the most fucking autistic and people that struggle with ADHD. That's why when you see popular streamers just constantly playing these types of games, when a new one comes out, they just jump ship instantly. It doesn't matter if it's a Battle Royale or not, they just jump fucking ship instantly. And as soon as they see that their viewership's dying, they jump straight back on that horse and go straight into the Battle Royale game they were playing previously. Or a different Battle Royale. You can legit see it on their faces when they don't enjoy it anymore. But they're just too afraid to lose viewership. Because viewership equals money. Yes, I understand money is a great incentive for half these people considering they have no other life skills at all. And if they do, they obviously didn't enjoy it and they've somehow found a passion within doing what they're doing now, which is fucking good work for them. But I don't know about you, but I couldn't just sit there and hate myself all day just hoping that my viewership won't die, the money will stop coming in, just so I can sit there, be miserable playing a game that I absolutely fucking hate. That ain't me. Don't forget to hit this subscribe button, bitch! <laughs>